look what came in the mail today. This is pretty dang exciting. If you guys haven't been following my channel for a while, I've done a lot of really good collaborations with the folks over at Electric E-Bikes. And this is their first introduction into the trike space. This is gonna be really cool. Let's get this thing unboxed. You know, at some point we have to ask ourselves, when does packaging costs actually outweigh product cost? What I mean by that is they did an absolutely phenomenal job packaging this very bulky item into this huge box and then zip tying and padding the heck out of it so you could get an item that arrives to you hopefully undamaged. It is folded up, but it's pretty much assembled. There's very little assembly that's required for electric bikes, which is really cool. Whether you get this or you get their normal e-bikes, there's just not a lot to assembling them. Typically, it's unfolding it, putting the handlebars in, adjusting your seat height, and maybe installing a battery, but I think the battery's already in. But just check this thing out. This box is not a small box. So if you order this, you're gonna wanna be sure you can have it delivered somewhere that can handle larger packages, because this box is probably all of three feet by three and a half feet by three feet tall. So it's it's definitely good size packaging. But yeah, this is what it looks like once you pull that off. You get all this stuff unwrapped around it. You pull some of the accessories that are with this one out. And um, right when you're about to pull it out of the box or this portion out and flip it in place, again, this is what it should look like. Okay, so we have the handlebars on, and this is the folding section. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, have it unfolded. And you can see it's pretty much a complete bike at this point. Got your headlight already mounted up front, computer up here. Let's get it all out of the packaging and uh, stood up by itself so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Check this thing out. This is the all new electric trike from Electric E-Bikes. I don't have a ton of information on this thing because it is actually so new, but um, I can give you some information on it. So let me try to go through the information I do have. So they call this the Electric XP Trike. It's the ultimate experience for all. It has the lowest overall standover height of 13.8 inches. Um, it's an industry first foldable and fully assembled electric trike, which is kind of cool. Um, the rear hub motor on it, which is right there, and you can see it utilizes a chain to the back, has a 65 Newton meters of torque. So it's supposed to be able to accommodate even folks who are heavier. It's two wheel drive in the rear, 1092 watt peak hub motor, which is pretty crazy, 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium ion battery right there. Four to six hours charge time and it can run for up to 60 miles. And I'm assuming that's with pedal assist. It has 180 millimeter front and rear rotors for the brakes. And they're hydraulic as well. So these aren't mechanical disc brakes. So that's definitely an upgrade. Class one or two e-trucks are gonna have a 14 mile per hour top speed. And that's five levels of pedal assist. Very, very cool. 69.5 pounds total weight with the battery. If you remove the battery, 62.5. So this is, it's relatively heavy, but it's actually pretty lightweight when you compare this to other similar type bikes on the market, if you want to say that. Again, 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery can go up to 60 miles on a single charge. It comes with a charger and you simply plug it into the side right here, right there. 
very very cool tires are the 20 by 2.6 inch slim tires so the tires are actually kind of slim it's got rear lights and it also has a front projector style headlight up here which is pretty cool so it, it has a 1092 watts peak power but normal power is 500 watts and then of course you have throttle assist right here so if you don't want to have to pedal you can simply twist the throttle and you can go which is really nice has a 36 by 16 single speed drivetrain as well only one gear and then of course you have your standard electric display up here with your pedal assist modes one through five your battery remaining as well as your current speed the miles on the odometer and if you want to turn the headlight on you simply hold the plus button down it turns on your headlight and it also turns on your tail lights has a basket right here and it came with two other baskets kind of a platform which i think is supposed to attach to the front and a smaller basket as well so you can carry some stuff up front even though i haven't installed it not sure that i will but this is super cool i think the only thing that's missing which they may make an accessory for is a rear seat it'd be really cool to have maybe a, a backward facing seat off of here with a seat belt or something that would be cool and it would also improve your stability because it would add additional weight to the back end preventing this thing from tipping over Sorry, there's some birds behind me that are absolutely destroying each other. Your hydraulic brake control up here. Got your keys. Well, this is gonna be awfully fun to take out for a ride. Okay, so I had an opportunity to take it out just for a really, really short ride. Probably didn't even go a quarter of a mile in it, but just to kind of test it out, make sure the brakes are working, trying to brake them in a little bit, um, see how the stability is, seat height, all of that. It's really cool, but it's also kind of an interesting feeling because you want it to feel like a bike when you start to go around a corner, when you start to lean, but it doesn't because the back tires are spread out so wide. This thing has a really, really stable footprint. I also tried to turn a little sharper than I probably should have, and I didn't feel the back tires come off the ground at all and it's probably because your center of gravity is so far back and the seating position is so far back that most of your weight's going to be rested right in this area right here um, i'm not going to say you still couldn't flip this if you tried but it's not as easy as i thought it would be um, and honestly it's it's really cool um, i only got up to like 11 and a half miles per hour i really didn't have enough road to just keep going i'm sure you could get up to 14 if you really wanted to um, I didn't try to go that fast, but it, it feels pretty cool. And I think for folks who want something like this, who want to be able to hang out with the folks who are riding their bike or want a little bit of a workout while at the same time wanting that stability, if you're prone to falling, if you're prone to injury, this is something that you might really, really enjoy because it's going to give you the ability to go out and enjoy riding with other people or by yourself, uh, going places that you may not otherwise be able to go and be able to do it with power assist in case you maybe run out of energy or you just want to fight a headwind or you're just in an environment where you just don't want to pedal anymore and you want to be able to use the throttle right here to get yourself back with simply using the motor. But this thing is super, super cool. Um, big shout out to the folks over at Electric for providing this for review and evaluation on the channel. They've been a big supporter of the channel and they provided a lot of bikes so we can demonstrate i use several of them as kind of like horses around the property so they definitely get you to where you want to go really quickly super efficiently and they're rechargeable so you don't really burn any fuel or have to waste anything whenever you use them um, they're not super competitive off-road bikes they're not super competitive road bikes they're just made to give you a really cool way to commute, get some exercise, and be able to have that assist whenever you're looking for it, especially when you hit those headwinds. Those are probably the, the most opportune times to use assist is whenever you're going to go down a road where there's headwind coming at you and you want to power through it. That really, really can help, and it can make all the difference in the world with how you end your ride, how exhausted you are. So very cool. Um, again, big shout out to them. I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you may be interested in. We're definitely going to have a lot more videos with this thing. I'm going to use this however I feel I can use it. I might even try to hitch a trailer up to it just to see if that works because it's, it's a lot more stable than I thought it was. Um, the only negative was a slight packing issue. And it wasn't even that bad. This fender back here was bent in a little bit, just this little bracket, which Honestly, from a packing perspective, I, I was surprised that there weren't more little things like that. And all I had to do was bend this back out so it wouldn't touch the tire. 
and all was better. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, I'll throw a link in the description of the video if this is something you may be interested in. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again real soon.